century, Mir was Russia's largest diamond mine, providing for the city on its edge. Its resources exhausted, the work now has to happen two hours of tundra away. The Dubinsky mine is a relatively young thing, been mining it for about 13 years. The mines are owned by a company called Al Rosa, and soon this one will be even bigger than the Mir. How much do you think the diamonds that you've gotten out of this quarry are worth? On average, we mine about $500 million a year. A couple miles down the road, a sense of scale. Just to put things in perspective, that's the platform we were just at. And that right there is a 100 meter drop down to where we are, which is only half the depth of this mine. Some work happens even deeper than that. This mine is a thousand meters deep and one of the world's richest. Along 25 miles of tunnels, 500 men toil away. It may not look like much, but that wall right there is absolutely full of diamonds. And slowly but surely, they're chipping away at it. Just the last five, ten minutes, we've moved forward about ten feet. At Diamond Frontier TV, the mayor is answering questions. There's concern about the quality of life. Al Rosa owns almost everything here, TV station included. The fear is going public will bring change. We're used to living under the company's protection. If the company goes into private hands, I don't think those people are going to be interested in the social side of things. For years, Arosa's very existence was a state secret. It's about to become the world's largest publicly traded diamond producer. Brian Shulkot, Bloomberg, in Siberia.